Perfect. So blow dry on your curvature first, and then put your tongue in. Okay? If you want hair really big, do a really small curl, and then blow dry back out. Because you get less curl when you blow dry, but because you've used a small curling iron, blow dry it, you've got to get more expansion. So a lot of the time, in Fashion Week or anything, we curl it tight, blow dry it back out, so then the hair's this big but less curl. Yeah? But always, if you want, there's a guy, Luigi Moreno, he is the god of glamour hair. He does everything from all the Kerastar Ke um, Ke Star stuff to John Frieda, everything beautiful on the catwalk, Gucci, all that sort of stuff, where it's ultra, ultra shiny and polished and really, really difficult to do. Um, and that's all blow dry, blow dry, blow dry. Then it's either hot roll or tong. So if you want to change how beautiful you want your hair, you need to do the two processes. A lot of people just go, oh, it's fine, I'll tong and then it comes out a certain way. So if you want it really highly more glamour beautiful, blow dry it first, yeah? Okay. So I'm just gonna get, everything here has been tongued the same way. So that way we get lift away from the face on one side. So we're opening up the side of the face to bring one side down. So one side makes her sexy, one side lifts her jawline. So the same thing for me when she's walking and changing angles, she goes from being quite grand because you're seeing, you're seeing jawline. jawline. Jawline makes people elevate their own stance. The other side makes you sexy because it comes over the face. Does that make sense? So those little nuances. Same with the ponytail. If the ponytail's up here, she becomes sporty because it's lifted that up. So if it's too high, then it becomes peculiar. And it's really low. Because <laughs> if it's really high, it's sort of a bit odd. If it's really low, you can either be quite a period piece, you know, like 1800s, or it can be kind of quirky. So depending on the clothing, a ponytail, like if you tie it to the scalp, it gives you one feeling. If you tie it two or three inches down from the scalp, you get a different feeling. So the reason why I mean, the reason why I talk about ponytails and where they go is you can change how expensive something looks in an instant. If I'm trying to sell clothing, and make it super, super expensive and amazing, my ponytail is in a particular place. That's why it's called a power ponytail that's here, because she's powerful. You see all of her jawline, that ponytail is going straight up from her jaw, it lifts her stance and she looks powerful. If you drop that ponytail down on the same woman, she doesn't have the same expression in the body language. It's that simple. So, um, I personally think ponytails can really uh, the, you know, the people go, oh, they're boring.